Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat, and it's time to play more Satisfactory. Let's get into it. Uh, last episode, what did we do? We scoped out uh, a couple of cop a couple of coal deposits, I should say, and a nice big water supply, and they just happen to be really, really close together. And then towards the end of the episode, we were just kind of strategizing on how best to take advantage of the water, and. Um, and still have room for, you know, the coal power plants themselves. Kind of want to max this area out. And the idea I had at the very end of the last episode was maybe we can platform. It's going to make it look ugly here. But maybe we can just pla <laughs> platform up above the water collectors. Excuse me. And then, um, and then pipe the water up and belt the coal up. And scale vertically up, potentially. Uh, coal plants, uh, they don't, they don't really stack. <laughs> they don't really stack. Uh, they're pretty darn tall, right? So, but at least we can leverage this whole area potentially for coal. We could tower over these trees potentially. And just pipe the water up. Now, as we do that, we're going to have to use pumps, I imagine, to get the lift or whatever to be able to uh, to um, get the water up to the coal plants. And then it'll take down our efficiency a little bit. But I think we'll be okay. And then I think I also talked about maybe at some point overclocking the, uh, the coal mines, assuming we have enough water here. So the last thing we're going to do is just see what it's going to take if we want to platform above that water gatherer there. And I think, oh, we also discovered a little cave here. I should have marked that. Let's go back here and just mark it. We almost got drawn in. There's a bunch of little bacon flowers, <laughs> bacon plants over here, which makes it very tempting. All right, let's uh, just plunk this guy down here. Cave Onyx for unexplored. How's that? All right, I think we can start our little platform like right at the edge here, like the edge of the forest. Like literally right here. Let's, and then we'll belt that coal over. But let's, yeah, let's just do, let's just do instead of Tonkin. I think we gotta go at least too high here. And probably... Let's go three high just for assurance that we're gonna have plenty of room, plenty of clearance. We might even go four high to tell you the truth. Depends if we want to get up over these trees. That's pretty high. Um, and that means more lift, a little bit less efficient, right? Uh, let's start here. I think I got enough concrete. Again, we're going to have to probably head back to headquarters at some point to get more supplies. Definitely the copper sheeting. This, I think this will do it. I think this will do it. And then we might even look at the coupon store to see if I can uh, pipe up stuff through the floor. Let's see. Do I have anything? Let's just take a quick look. No, I have stuff to get conveyors through walls. I don't think I have anything too fancy. We may have to make a a trip. 
we yeah, we can still make it work even without fancy uh, panels. But I know we're going to need more copper sheet. I think this is going to do it. So we belt up the coal up here and we pipe up the water. I don't know how hard it's going to... Oh boy. Ooh, well, we did take some damage, I think. How do I get up? I guess I just float to the surface. Now, is this going to be a pain to build? We move really slow here in the water. I'm guessing we can put temporary platforms down just as we're building this. Out. So I see. And then uh, power poles. How is that going to work? Um, let's just try for a second. I know. Yeah, I'm going to have to have some platforms on the water, it looks like. So maybe right underneath. Let's see. Let's see how that's going to look. We can take this guy up. We know we're high enough, at least. I have put platforms here on the water surface. I doubt it. I got to start from land. Let's get out of that guy. Ah, uh, boy. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How do we want to do that? Basically, we need to run power. Now, that could, mm, could run power up high and just connect it. Right? Let's, let's put down another one of these water guys. So we had something like that. Let's, uh, let's head up. Yeah, this looks like it's going to take a little bit of time to get this right. But I think we'll be glad to have it done once we do, because uh, this should take care of our power needs for quite a while. I'm sure it's going to seem like a lot of power, and then we're eventually going to use it up probably pretty quick, but uh, it beats biomass burners. I know that. Let's just experimenting with the power right now. Yeah, it's going to be like this for power. Pipe is going to be a little trickier. How are we going to do this? Just trying to think of how we're going to get the water piped up without having a bunch of holes in our platform, right? Because we want to leverage as much of this water as we can can't really go I can't stack coal power plants I just think that's going to be too crazy they're so freaking tall hmm let's see can I hook up a water line from here oh does it Oh, it will actually do something crazy like that. Just thinking. Probably overthinking it, right? Maybe I don't need to think of the water as being that scarce of a resource. That's going to need a pump too, right? To get it up here. I'm guessing. So I'll show you what I'm thinking. So this guy sits here, right? So you can imagine a whole row of these things. 
And you can imagine this pipe kind of going straight out across this platform and just keeps on going. And then we do the same thing we did over at the other power plant where we've got water running down one side and coal running on a belt on the other side, power plants in between. And then you could just do a mirror image of that over on the other side. So this same pipe could feed two rows of, uh, of power plants. Now, I don't know what the throughput is on these things. The max is 300 per minute. Uh... What is this? Flush. Interesting. All right. Max flow rate is flow rate is 300 per minute. So what we might do, if we go with this design, we might start over on this side, kind of way over here. Here's what I'm thinking. I'll show you. Let's uh, head over there. Well, the coal, I think we're not going to have a problem. We can belt that wherever we want, and it's that's the least of my concerns. But what I'm thinking we could do is start way over here, like right up on the edge of these cliffs, about as close as we can get. Doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. But right over here, we start, and the first thing we pop down on the platform our power plants then right next to it oh maybe two rows of power plants and then a line of guys providing water and then belt the coal in and then kind of repeat that as we head off here to the left so let's let's extend this platform and just kind of play with that idea, see how it works. Yeah, I, mean, I need to get the uh, the little running blades or whatever that make me move faster. I think we'll unlock those in a tech tree. I hope that's not, not a mod. Uh, but yeah, it runs kind of slow. He or she, I think the character's a she, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's see how that would look. In theory, we've got water here we could leverage. All right, let's take this up. It's just in the way. Same thing with you. Let's build a monster platform here. Hopefully I've got enough uh, concrete on me. Like I said, we gotta go back to the base anyway. So if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna go big. I'm sure there's a technique here that I'm not using that would allow me to save like this thing right here. If I could just save this and just go next door and do a single click and get that back, that would be nice. But it's still faster than laying each one one at a time and I always misplace these things. We're going to rip up some of these tiles to, or these foundations to let uh, water up through the bottom. Yeah, we're killing some beautiful scenery here. I'm not happy about that, but... Whole plants billowing black smoke. That's not horrible to look at either, though, I suppose, right? All right, let's come through here, see what we can do. I want to get, I want to nestle up right next to these trees so they can benefit from the carbon dioxide we're going to be kicking out. I just got to think through how we want to orient them. We're probably going to come over here too. Let's do this.
Let's see if I got what it takes here to build a coal power plant. Coal generator. Kind of want... Bear with me here. I gotta run all the way over here. I wanna see where the water's gonna come up. And then I gotta see what this guy produces too. Do we kinda know what he does? Oh man, come on, honestly. I should write this down. Maybe I will. All right, this guy does, what, 120 cubic meters per minute. Hundred twenty-three cubic meters per minute. Let's see what the coal power plant takes. Oh, man, so slow. So slow. This guy takes 45 cubic meters per minute. So right, it's three, it's basically three to one. I know that's not perfect efficiency or anything, but basically three to one. One water plant can feed three power plants. That's awesome. think if I've got that right yeah three power plants for every water so what I want to do now is see where would the nearest water be because I can feed three in fact I could plop one right here and probably feed three even further out right let's see let's uh again I know this is kind of messy Where is the water thing? I know I have it on my hot bar, but now that I'm in here. Check it out. I can get pretty close. No reason not to take advantage of this space up here. Oops, misplaced that one. I think come one more over at least. I should orient this guy a little different. 
give me a little more room. Like I want this to come out. But now it's going to be hard to get that water straight up, I think. Let's take this guy out. Let's do it so his pipe is a little bit easier to route. That's tucked in. Let's head up and see how that would work. Now that guy can feed three. I think, now the coal we'll have to look and see, but I thought we had a ton of coal per mine. Like the, the mines churn out a ton. I'll leave that there for reference. Yeah, this is going to take a little bit of experimentation to get it the way I want it. A few misplaced foundations there. And then I don't know about the pump. If I got a pump. Nervous about that. This thing is what? Eight meters. And we only get a 10 meter lift out of the that guy. Yes, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. And then I don't know where the pump needs to go. Let's, um... God, I hate to do it unnecessarily, right? Uh, do I have that on the hot bar? The pump? I do. It's... Here. Will that clip on? No. It will not. How does it work? Alright, let's... Can I just drop this down? Let's just see what this thing's about. Maximum flow rate, 600 per minute. Head lift. Recommended max head lift is 20. No power. So this will take, wow, this takes a lot. Max flow rate 600. Oh man, I need to uh, look up some information on this. I'm a little confused. Can I use one pump and feed a bunch of stuff into it. Hmm. How does it work? Guessing we hook the pipe up to each side, right? This is just aesthetic up top, right? That's just going to be like pistons moving or something. And then the pipe. Oh, is there different levels pipe? Yeah, there is. Uh, will this let me just build a pipe? I see what's going on here. Okay, this is our just regular MK1 pipe. This guy can only do 300. We're going to probably get upgraded pipe. This guy can only do 300. This guy can pump out 300 because it's an MK1 as well. And our water collectors can only do 120. Right? Pretty sure that's what I wrote down. So can I share a pump? And where do I place it? That's my big question, right? So, um, I can place a beacon down. Maybe that'll, <laughs> that'll solve my problem. All right. Let's, uh, get ourselves back the way we want here. I can do this. Can't tell what looks good. It's pretty hard to tell. Okay, up comes the water. Stab at that thing. 
Do I need a pump here? I just don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, we'll leave some room. And then the idea is three power plants. Three coal burning power plants. Coal generators. Let's see here. And I can go on to this side. leave some room for the pipe to snake over. In fact, we'll maybe, okay, it doesn't like it there. I need a little more platform. Let's go two more rows on our platform here. Learn to kind of take my time on that. All right, let's do it. Our coal generator. Again, I want to leave room in case we need to put a pump. So we can go this way. And that, how about right on this panel? Looks good. And then God, it's so difficult to see where this is going to get placed, at least in my mind. About there. You can always move it. Okay, it's backwards. Right up. That seems reasonable. Ooh. Now we're going to get three. We are not going to get three. Okay. Can we do it? It's creative. So we can get three. I need to extend our foundation out even more. You can always pull this back. So what I'm thinking of doing here is I'm going to run this pipe straight down. But then I want to feed three um, power generators. I can't do them in a series here like I'd like to. So they're going to have to split off on the side. Now it's going to make the coal a little bit more challenging. How we're going to do the coal. The idea is, let's see... Man, this thing just does not want to rotate. There is the way I want you. And if you will stay there, I'll be happy. Something like that, right? We know this pipeline, or at least the water that's coming in here, is 120 a minute. Now, I'm not sure if I can hook up another water guy right to the same pipe and then do another row right here. So let's keep playing. Let's keep playing here with the design. So it's going to be something like this. We're just, I guess we're right there, right?
something like that water feeds into all three of these and then we need conveyors coming up with coal let's say they come in or let's connect this again we're just kind of experimenting to see how this is going to lay out we need one of these guys right well, i'm not sure exactly where can i hop over man it's just barely can i get over there um the odds of this lining up the way i want let's see can i hit the control keys nope that's not is it alt yeah i don't think it can help me on this one uh, i can try and eyeball it It'll do. Can I crouch under this thing? Is there no way to get around these? Hmm. Is there a clever solution for that? Uh, like placing these higher and then coming down. Because this is going to be annoying. Let's see. Do I have stairways or anything? I think we can get those at the fix-it store. I don't think I bought them. No. Nope. Yeah, I would like a solution for that. Uh, I'll have to figure that out. That's going to slow things down. But right now, I just want to practice with the belt weaving here because we need to get coal now into here. Ooh, we could, we could come in from this way. Oh man, it's kind of tacky, but that would work. So let's do that. Let's see what that looks like. Be something like this, right? I'm not crazy about the look of this, but I do think it would work. Gotta find room for power poles. Might want to space things out a little better than I'm doing. But again, we're just kind of doing a pilot. There's probably a clever way to belt weave over this stuff. In fact, I'm sure of it. But this is actually pretty easy to construct because I'm not having to jump over pipes. Right? That looks feasible. Do I have room for power poles? Do. Ish. I do up until this point. This one could nestle in a little bit closer, I think. Let's, uh, let's do that. That gives me room for power poles. It's snug. It's more snug than I usually do. This will work, though. Uh, this one looks horrible. <laughs> I'm usually not, not a perfectionist. I don't want to waste your guys' time watching me perfect all this, so I'll just I'll try to keep it limited. But that looks pretty bad. Let's 
hug this thing. That looks workable to me, right? We got the water. I can get the coal over here. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. And that is three power plants right away. The next challenge, or the next idea... Oh, man, I got to get those uh, stairs. Yeah, the next idea here would be, can I just throw down one more water pump, hook up into this pipe, basically with a pipe connector, and then do kind of a mirror image thing. So I'm talking about, boom, there. Another water collector either behind that one or right next to it comes up, feeds into this thing. And then I shoot three power plants off this way. One, two, three. Or, oh, well, yeah, I don't think I can get, <laughs> I can't get much out here. Ah, I could. Ish. It would look weird. I'd have to shift over. And I could go back a little bit and have another power plant, another power plant, and another power plant, and just come off to the right here if I put... You know, had more water coming through here. The full 300. It's ugly. But once it's set up, we're not going to be out here looking at it. It's just going to be churning out power for us. And then again, we'll jumpstart this with the... I guess the biomass burner or something. We could probably leave it down too. Uh, in fact, I've got biofuel on me. Thanks to the mod. The inventory mod. I got tons of leaves that we've been collecting. <laughs> tons of biofuel. All right. That looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. Um, What's next? How do we want to do it? Do we want to try and get three more kind of back this way? I'm probably going to run out of coal and I'll be wondering why did you just waste all this open space? Why did you jam things in here when you didn't need to? I guess the question is, can I get three more here? It looks kind of tight. I don't think I'm going to bother. But I do like the idea of doing potentially three more coming off of this. In fact, we could almost leverage these same pipes. Are these splitters here. But I just got to get more water in. And then maybe there's room here for the pump. I don't know that I need it. So much to learn. But I don't know. What if we did... Another one of these water guys. But we reversed it and did it this way. Like that. Oh. A little hokey. It's going to look a little strange. Get the water. Get the water up here. Yeah, this isn't going to look the best. I don't think. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Encroaching on another's clearance. Encroaching, encroaching, encroaching. <laughs> it doesn't, definitely doesn't like that. Uh, am I just coming over too far? Hmm. Doesn't like it. It wants me to kind of come way over. Encroaching on another one's clearance. Oh, what the heck is that whole thing? Must have a huge 
It won't let me. It'd be cool if it just let me place it right up top there, but it will not. That's where I really want it to go. Uh, I might have to come over here and route the pipe. It's not the end of the world. In fact, let's escape out of that. I want to take a look and see if I've got room for another foundation panel here. Looks like I do to me. Let's place that down and then see if we can clip onto that. Alright, it's happy with that. This routine, we'd send out, uh, we'd have three more coal power generators out this away. Let's uh, get this oriented while it's little. Okay, that's the way I want it. Um, I guess I could line these up with the pipe. It's not essential. They're going to be staggered a little bit. All right, alt. Can't remember if it was alt. Oh, it looks like it's control. So hard to place. All right. At least for me. It's because it's so damn big. I cannot see these things lining up. Oh, man. It drives me crazy. Let's just try that and see how it did. It's a way too freaking close. All right, escape out of that. So I have to look at that damn screen. This guy needs to come back a bit and maybe we'll line him up with this seam. Kind of this first line and that seam. All right, try it. I don't think I'm going to get a perfect. How about right in this corner? Hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. I think we'll see how this does. Ooh, I should have walked around first.
We'll try and follow roughly the same layout. Like just a mirror image. Hopefully I got enough room for power poles. It looks like I do. It's going to be a little snug. But I think I can make it work. Yeah, there's there's got to be room there, right? Uh, let's do the last one and then we can uh, call it an episode. we got a plan at least that's our first little row right six coal fired power plants ideally being fed by two water gatherers we have room if we need to to put a pump here we'll see how it how it does I don't you know the proofs in the pudding we'll see once we fire this thing up how it works we'll probably put uh we'll find like an open spot where we can drop a biomass burner or two just as a backup kickstarter and leave that down. We'll find, I'm sure we'll have like some open space on the platform. But uh, yeah, let's call it an episode here. In the next episode, we'll see if we can fire this thing up. We gotta go get the coal, belt that over. I think I have enough supplies to pull it off. That uh, copper sheeting is lasting really well. I thought we were gonna come up short on that, like really short. But we've still got 323, so we can do some more work out here before heading back to base, I think. And then uh, when we do head back to base, maybe we'll do a little bit of exploring on the way back. Um, but yeah, I want to maximize this out. I want to use every last little coal nugget we can get out of those two mines and fill this whole area up with uh, power plants if we can. We'll see, we'll see what problems we run into. It looks like we've got a lot of space. We're pretty compact here, but man, this works as designed. There's six there. We could easily do another six here. Another six. Yeah, we could do, man, we could do a lot. So I say go for it. Let's smog up them skies and uh, get this taken care of and uh, hopefully buy us some time, a good amount of time where we won't have to worry about generating power. But yeah, we'll leave it here this episode. For now, this is GliderCat signing off, saying thanks so much for watching. If you've been giving these videos a thumbs up, just want to thank you. I really appreciate that. That really does help my channel. And I will see you in the next episode.